ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு ஆஸ் தமிழின் விழித்திரு மனிதா இது உங்க விஜே இன்னைக்கு நம்ம ப்ரோக்ராம்ல பேச போற முக்கியமான டாபிக் பில்டிங் ரெசிலியன்ஸ் இன் யூத் அண்ட் இதை பத்தி நம்மளோட பேச வந்திருக்காங்க ஒரு ஸ்பெஷல் கெஸ்ட் டாக்டர் கிறிஸ்டோ கருணா He is also the founder coordinator of the International Consortium for Value Based Governance based at Monash University and idu thavara nama audience panel la inik sila special guest vandirukanga so ipo irukra or unpredictable uncertain covid situation la ilangirgal avugaloda resilience eppadi build pannalam nu nenikireenga because ipa edha nokki avanga vandu goal set pananum nu neenga nenikireenga the good question vijay um ரெசிலியன்ஸ் வந்து ஒரு ஒரு வே டு கோப் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ஸோட ஓகே ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்டுக்கு அகேன்ஸ்டா ஹவு டு யூ கோப் இப்போ ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் வந்து என்ன நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் வந்து லாங் பீரியட் ஆஃப் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் நீங்கள் எடுத்தீங்கன்னா அது ஹேஸ் லாட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹார்ம்ஃபுல் இஃபெக்ட்ஸ் ஒன்று வந்து எங்கள் ஹெல்த்தை பாதிக்கும் அடுத்து உங்கள் மென்டல் ஸ்டேட் ஆஃப் மைண்டை பாதிக்கும் ஸோ ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் வந்து லாங் டைம் இருந்ததுட்டா இட் பிகம்ஸ் பேர்ன் அவுட் Okay, but in a work environment, but that I specialize in burnout. But stress fund is a major uh, expertise of mine. And when you say stress, stress fund is a perception. But when you say note, they are okay, they don't cope very well to certain stressors. That's because it's a meaning you attach. Okay, but an example that I always use in class is and if you look at a snake okay and the palm will go and there i am the snake path i am find the mama snake apdi nirna i get very scared it moral vand snake path to beautiful animal see the way it's moving i wish i can dance like that and then apdi that's because it's a perception the meaning we create and the character and then what is the what is a snake mean to our lives a snake enakku induces anxiety in the moral ku it induces something beautiful so what is the cause for that other our upbringing our conditioning our experiences personality to a certain extent our uh, environment the way we been brought up our genetic makeup adella kalandu the, the interaction of all those makes you react to stress inga pretty stress a path react pandrathu vandu depends on your makeup so நீங்க பாத்தீங்க அந்த ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் இருக்குல்ல அந்த லாங் டைம் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் இருந்தா பேர்ன் அவுட் ஆ மாறுது ஓகே அந்த பேர்ன் அவுட் அந்த டெபினேஷன் ஆஃப் பேர்ன் அவுட் நீங்க தியரி நான் ஐ அம் அன் அகடெமிக்ஸ் ஐ கோ டு தி தியரி நீங்க தியரி பாத்தீங்கன்னா தி பேர்ன் அவுட் இஸ் பேசிக்கலி समथिंग யூ ஹேவ் when the demand on you is much higher than the resources you have so resources வந்து for example some examples of resources வந்து your social support system what is the social support system you know that is a good start on your overall health your rest how you deal with uh, different things in the past and a demand one day could be the time a very difficult person okay someone that you view as being trouble and the demand one day not enough time the workload being too high uncertainty in the environment in that thing and the covid environment uncertainty a part is putting lot of demand working from home learning at the school online learning other than putting lot of demands so the equation one day if you can increase the resources available to cope that is where the resilience starts okay opening a path in there how do you build the resilience once you understand that equation the next step one day is to work towards building the resources apa resources comes through various ways na pa that so the most important idu vande is the social support system you have and inga pathinga and the topic vande in the today's topic vande is about youth building resilience in youth okay the youth are our future and ninga youth pathinga da the most important starting idu vande avangala home environment they have to have a loving or loving environment with them that is a good starting point 
second one they they need to have a good role model so it's not just about the youth it's about the youth's environment at home school and other places so now uh, i developed a framework called the purpose driven uh, scorecard if you are going to it's a good way to try and improve your resilience if other than you are pretty start pandranda you start off with who are you so if i'm a youth okay now when they are a young person now when they who am i who's priyanda okay what do i stand for what are my values values and what i consider important edu ip in the life le edu mukyo for what is what do i consider important family success sports whatever so that other one the lamp pathing right gets to your authentic self you cannot be who you are not but other than the starting one day if you start off from your authentic self it is very difficult to go wrong okay so other than start from your authentic self uh other one the environment where parent one day and the teacher are two of the most important people in a youth's life friends comes next okay so on the formative years le the very important number one loving environment at home a good role model father or mother okay so they depend for the parent i'm coming to the parent in a minute uh, focusing on the authentic self deciding what your values are what are my values at the same time what is my purpose now in the in the world le irukra what aim perunda what is what what in the life about what do i have to achieve but victor frankl and for one of the famous psychiatrists in there he wrote a famous book man's quest for meaning adile vande avar vande he was a prisoner in the auschwitz concentration camp in germany so avar he is a psychiatrist so he observed many people lots of people were tortured everyone was tortured on the concentration camp there still a people bro- broke down they just couldn't cope some died and there were some people he noticed who were very resilient they couldn't be broken and i was another you can do anything to me but one thing you cannot take away from me is how i react to what you're doing so after he when he did some further investigation amangalam oda pesam povu he found out amangalam they had something to live for either a grandchild or a son or a daughter or something they want to achieve in life upper purpose why the big w h y why am i here what do i have to achieve other than when you have that purpose that will drive you forward upper purpose is important your values your core vision where do i see myself in the future okay ipo nan priyandar vanda nan kanna moodi nan imagine pannanda nan going to be a doctor i'm going to help uh, social people in india i'm going to help the, the poor so do you have a vision when you see you have a vision you know what your purpose is your values other per you form close key stakeholders stakeholders man they are people who are important to you and who also have your welfare in their best interest like your parent your teacher your best friend form close key stakeholders because they are very important among them you have to boost their things so alignment from the very important when you are have similar values to your friends or your father or your mother and your teacher negotiation of values up at that's a starting point for a very good social support network okay adala start pani then what you can do is you can formulate your goals what is my next step in the goals what are my goals in the future and the goals are achieve pandrathukku in the performance measure how do i track if now when if i want to lose weight in uh, every two weeks i can measure my weight what is my target and you are seeing and the performance measures from there are not given to you by someone else that's where the stress comes other one the the perception result for the either one it's it comes from you your purpose let's start pani your values let's start pani you are designing the performance measures according to who you are when you start off with that it is very difficult for you to go wrong okay other other start starting point in mondo irukunda i always tell this to my uh, students okay take your meds m e d s 
as you embrace as you embark on the plot p l o t to success padalam acronyms okay meds fund the m stands for mindfulness meditation okay or contemplation m e stands for exercise idalam that is all from my own experiences i tell you if naan vandu neriya adversity lam taandi vaathirukra i tell you if i in the list pandra and adversity be able to be here till tomorrow but one thing i was i'm a fighter i'm very resilient so i'm sharing with you things that worked for me from a young age okay uh, m e e for exercise you need optimal not too much but in your body la vande there's a thing called you know your cortisol stress hormone you don't want to have too much stress but the cortisol elevates and you have the fight or flight syndrome but neuroscience is eleven day but i'm entertaining a lot of different things at the same time but neuroscience fund the your is your brain the most important um, body uh, organ in your body and a mind fund your consciousness you can control your brain in the brain eleven day you can control through meditation exercise d for diet s for sleep a proper rest the relaxation is very important rest is equally as important as exercise Okay, so take your meds as you embark on the plot. P L O T. P stands for adopt a process perspective. Don't focus. Be mindful of the outcome. The Priya and the Vandi, if he's trying to achieve for Nama Tamil Aakal Vandi, medicine Vandi, people medicine is now losing its popularity after all these COVID things. Seriously, and the burnout in the physicians and all that. They are advising their kids, please, no more medicine, no more doctors. Okay, just assume. Let's say. priyanda wants to become a computer scientist or medicine whatever so he needs to get a certain eta score how do they fixate panninga na even if he at university i tell my students this all the time and this is what i have noticed when you fixate on the high distinction when you fixate on 95 and all that eight times out of 10 you will not get it why it induces anxiety anxiety makes people do crazy things you cheat okay tappu things ellam you will do lots of lots of different things toxic environment ultra competition i'm not saying ignore it you ignore pana the uh, target be mindful of that but be focus on the process and the process ninga focus paninga now you'll be more intrinsically motivated that means it comes from you who am i as priyanda okay what is my purpose and i'm passionate but and of course sandir kra 13 years old my god he's one of the most stubborn people around but Lego vandu avarku romba pidikum Lego vandu is he's, he's a genius sometimes he always vandu enakku par appa can you come and help me with the Lego under poi i have no idea how to start put it up or a piece he said no that's not it this is it and he has got a natural flavor and the vandu his passion that is who he is that defines who he is he's not a medical guy he's not a you know an engineer or pretty long but artistic creative genius so why do we want to push them towards someone who they are not up at this where the parents role comes in okay so i'm coming to that i'm coming to that in a minute up at p one the for process okay just focus on the process and then when you focus on the process you're so motivated the outcome over the result one this the important by product automatically you'll get high distinction but i'm going to students when i teach in a masters unit strategic management accounting and the masters unit la the, the, the nine people out of 10 ninga thinga na those who consistently get high distinctions are not the ones who study very hard the ones who enjoy they are very engaged who love the topic questions challenge and the appian pasanga than they get very good uh, grades so proper for process l is for learning adopt the learning perspective number human beings run away from failure we run away from mistakes we don't want to be judged because we think we don't want to fail now when them goes very important lesson embrace failure there's nothing wrong with it it's okay to make mistakes the most successful people in your pathing that whether it be tennis player or ella vand they made thousands of mistakes important thing they embrace the mistake they learned and they moved on thomas edison vand avri uh, invented the electric bulb for the camera curtain aren't you fed up you've just done 9000 different experiments you haven't found the light bulb other on the 10000 he found the light bulb so that's that my friend i've not wasted any time i've now an expert i found 9000 different ways that don't work 
so and the attitude and the minds other other one the mindset is important so when you have the mindset then you have the right approach towards learning fail that's okay learn can can keep continuously learning other lam say it goes hand in hand is intrinsic motivation learning and failing you go pathinga da the kids are we are at our best in the first 5 years of our life most creative inga you can observe it pathingala and the chinna pasanga vande the toddlers vande they will fall down when do they start crying when we go so ayyo your papa odi undi apdi same poda they will start crying until that they will look at you for validation you ignore they will get up and they'll walk and the attitude irukona parents ku kal kal kam to the parents in a minute okay and the creativity stops when we start telling the kid at 5 or 6 years old once they start going to school how they should live their life certain structure irukona irukona but you should also allow them to explore who they are okay so p l p for process l for learning o is for open open mindedness be very open if a in the traffic lights here and or all when they if he jumps the red and you start swearing at him crazy guy what's he doing that's because you are judging him if only you knew our mandu our the thaya vandu he is taking it to hospital because she is dying adu therinjina unda would you start swearing no you won't because you are putting through a different lens so it's very easy to judge to truly understand and judge someone you have to have the genetic make up the brain the experiences of that person you are judging so keep an open mind t last one t plot stands for training teaching coaching i'm a firm believer of the coaching approach i'll talk about coaching in a minute okay so t is that you should always adopt you can always teach someone someone can teach you training coaching okay so take your meds as you embark on the plot to success that is a famous uh, motto of mine that i live by and i tell my students so purpose driven scorecard is a blueprint i've invented conceptual framework to build resilience and then take your meds as you embark on the plot to success gives you that basal hormonal thing that you wake up for your hormones are also important adle vande it's a good starting foundation for you to be able to be resilient and then embrace adversity padu vande vijay sorry a long answer to your uh, question illa sir parwala i agree with everything you said and it was very fantastic and it was very informative um so id eppadi neenga inda score card nu solreenga adena or hard copy ah illa is it something that is available online or do you usually go through schools and and the madriyana or resources are there ninge eppadi how do you actually give it to the students sure now when the the purpose driven score card when the and the masters program that i teach it is not i have not published it yet i'm working on it developing it right now and other when i give uh, training programs on that other when it's a uh, it's a uh, something that uh, uh, someone would have okay or a score card when they put a or 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 um or copy of it in the it will have under my purpose for print days like you have your values and the lamps in the performance measures along with them then your your parent priyandrik sir and his father or mother would have another one so they will then have a common alignment between them and the lamps say that what i advocate is a coach a coach who can coach it's very important not coach priyandar not coach his father or mother but coach the relationship coaching the relationship is contextual coaching you coach the relationship because i need to hear priyanth's point of view priyanth enna solra enda kakakno avan the father and mother the point of view kakakno and i should then try to come up with some alignment so they both have a good relationship and that's the foundation for that loving environment which is very focus on intrinsic motivation and that so upper Uh, I, I, yeah, I run programs on this and in this uh, purpose-driven scorecard where now when they I get students uh, or participants to to focus on who they are, what they aim for, and then to try and see them through for a certain before and after, and they usually find a big improvement. They realize who they are. But kind of we be all all of us. We just go around with uh, my employer. What does my employer want to do? I'm gonna the boss want to in the solar in the say no. I prefer in the the uh, performance are very low up in ana when you start knowing why you are doing something why am i working at monash if uh, now i am here seven days a week and the father vandi is still living okay he still ask me my father and mother run a perusko you know lousy job you have son 
அது என்ன நீ வீ வீக்கெண்ட்ஸ்ல அங்க இருக்கிற அந்த ஆபீஸ்ல என்ன அவங்க ஓவர் டைம் எல்லாம் பே கொடுக்குறாங்களா அது ஓவர் டைம் வந்து யூ கேன் பை அண்ட் யூ கேன் ஃபினிஷ் இட் வித் இன் 1 வீக் மணி பட் தி என்கேஜ்மென்ட் வாட் ஐ லவ் பட் ஐ டு மை லைஃப் இஸ் மை வர்க் ஆர் மை வர்க் இஸ் மை லைஃப் அது வந்து யூ கேன் டேக் அவே சோ ஹி தே அவங்க தே ஸ்டில் கான் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் बिकॉज தே ஆர் ஆல் ட்ரிவன் பை வர்க் அண்ட் மணி சோ நான் சொல்றேன் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் லவ் வாட் ஐ டு ஐ கம் ஹியர் ஐ டோன்ட் ஈவன் ரியலைஸ் தி டைம் கோஸ் பை and that is what i want apo inna nadakka adile seedha inna nadakka no you do so well you are so razor like focused you are in flow adim is another key word you are in flow you pathinga na and the swan the duck in the lake gliding nicely majestically but underneath you see they are trying to survive that's our life okay similarly ninga pathinga na the figure skaters la how much practice but you see they glide swimming and you are thinking that is like they do all these things no when you are an expert you will glide you will swim on the floor this called in flow when you are in flow one day that that is what you want to be that stress levels will go down your resources will come up so it's it, it but the sort of topics all interconnected with each other but i don't have much time but other than the trading program in that i will outline this over one or two days or then one day bidwar i'm just giving you little snippets of information it's all linked together how you can really build up the resources to cope with the demands that is the key and the equation one the and the path to pointing and i get you you can deal with anything you can also look at the opportunity in this adversity the covid adunga covid la vande he say oh is it difficult now look at no no things in the store and all that. yeah that's because you are focusing on the negative look at the other side what did you bet but now and i don't have to but now i i my my office is in clayton campus monash நான் டீச் பண்றது வந்து கோஃபில் கேம்பஸ்ல தி மாஸ்டர்ஸ் லெவல் ஐ அம் சோ ஹேப்பி ஐ டோன்ட் ஹேவ் டு கோ டு கோஃபில் டிராஃபிக் பிளேஸ் குட் பீ லெஸ் இன் தி ரோட்ஸ் சோ அதனால யூ கேன் லுக் அட் ஆல் தி பாசிட்டிவ் அஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் இட் யூ ஹேவ் நவ ரியலைஸ்ட் தி பிரியந்தர் அண்ட் ஹிஸ் ஃபேமிலி ஹேவ் ரியலைஸ்ட் வாட் ட்ரூலி மேட்டர்ஸ் டு देम இன் தி என்விரான்மென்ட்ல மீனிங்ஃபுல் டு वी नीड ஆல் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் நோ லெட்ஸ் டீ கிளட்டர் आवर லைஃப்ஸ் டீ கிளட்டர் கெட் ரிட் ஆஃப் தி வேஸ்ட் எங்கட ஹவுஸ்ல relationships toxic relationships negativity get it but there in that i always say this okay be careful what you think because you become what you think the most important dialogue you have is the one you have with yourself you are your best friend you should come out of yourself look inside and say wow priyanda this is what you are don't play victim look and see how many people have it worse than you be grateful you have a lovely parent you have a lovely parents you have a lovely health good health opportunities why are you looking at what you don't have you're looking at the neighbor's garden and saying is beautiful but only if you knew that they had cancer or some other various problem up on the mindset and there it should be trained provided they have the right mindset even though they are paralyzed other side is paralyzed now they can bypass that side and use the other side some have you you've seen some people can use their feet to do all kinds of things most important you have to have the right mindset and never give up mindset that's resilience at the starting point for resilience okay so but now lots of different things learning perspective uh, intrinsic okay and success ning enna kettingla success is at the intersection of opportunity passion or talent and demand you want to act you want to live where there is demand for something where there's opportunity for you to improve in that or work towards that and where it's aligned with your passion or your talent that's where success is maximized kandipa sir thank you that was a uh, that was very valuable lot of valuable lessons i think you've got and uh the uh ipo parents oda role enna idla so parents vandu idukku eppadi vandu how can they actually help during this transition phase ipo pasanga vandu like ipo neenga solra mari ipo nariya avanga work input podnu pasangalukku and the intrinsic motivation inga solra mari adu ulle endha avangalukku varano they have to set goals adala solirkeenga but as parents namba vandu enna pannalam idukku how can we actually guide them uh during this transition process adha pathi or a few words very good very good follow up parents when they are the most important to be in a best role as what i would call a facilitator the parents should be a facilitator a coach facilitate the learning don't be there to tell but angala we all many of us are helicopter parents do this do that other one angle culture okay control 
do this aj aj say yeah this say aj say yeah up but they are not you're not going to be there all the time beside them it is very difficult we are also creatures of our own habit and the parents use they we pass it on but the cycle has to break facilitate stand there watch him fall and then ask him what did you do different what what did you make a mistake it is very difficult adana seyrathukku parents we should improve ourselves if we don't improve ourselves we cannot be the right one we don't have the right we don't have the the right to be quite honest with you we don't have the the platform to be able to coach our child so we need to work on ourselves whether it be through coaching life coaching whether it be through um therapy if you have some problems underlying problems through childhood adalam you got to go through therapy pressure shouting at them and all that is nothing other than a reflection of your anxiety your weakness and the trust me the kid will look at that the kid, kid kids fund they have a very very bad habit of internalizing and blaming themselves for their parents fighting these are things now in england you know these things but you still do them it is a detrimental effect they blame themselves this is why my parents are fighting this is by dad is looking at me like this even the parents don't have to say something the way they just react towards a child has got an indelible black mark okay it's, it is very uh, traumatic um there's a saying one day it is better to come from a broken home than to be in one okay because the environment shapes the kid a lot a loving environment so and the mental health issues when you when you put too much pressure on the kids because you want to get an a task score they you bringing up under you are what you are doing is you are breeding robots they will get you the score if you are lucky they haven't collapsed by them okay and if they don't get the score how you treat them and how you show unconditional love is very important you are not preparing them to be a doctor you are not preparing them to be a computer engineer you are preparing them for being a high quality thinker now and the students again i always say there are two things you have to focus on high quality thinking and high quality character be careful what you think because you become what you think your how you think affects your destiny why because when you think of something over and over and over again you start talking about it you going to get you try it and see in your lives okay when you start talking about something you start talking about it. if you start talking about uh, ice cream you start talking about it you start thinking about it so be careful what you think and how you think so thinking is very important when you th- you're a good quality thinker you can make decisions for the whole for your whole life and you can become a doctor you can do anything you can survive any time but you always to do well so good quality thinking is important you can be a doctor without good quality thinking so high quality thinking when you start thinking something then you start talking something when you start talking something over and over again what do you do you start acting upon it ah the ice cream burner we are should go and have that and you go and buy the ice cream now when you do something over and over again what does it happen it becomes a habit when you have a habits what happens it defines your character and your character def- defines your destiny so be careful how you think affects how you talk or what you talk or what you say how you act your habits your character and your destiny so how you think affects your destiny up i always emphasize is good quality thinking is what parents should encourage their kids to be make mistakes what did you do wrong what would you do different next time be independent they need to be independent but anger culture when they we make them so reliant on us that they sometimes have something that is i think the most important trait you can develop in your kid self belief self belief then number can you should be able to decide yeah i can do it i failed yeah i failed ten five times so what i can still do it self esteem is so important is related to self belief when you have low self esteem that if you ask me nalvande for oru one thing is the reason for why people are not confident and they don't do well self esteem why because your parents have affected your self esteem in the past they be little you they said you are good for nothing so that affects your self esteem is very fragile and so when someone say something even indirectly without you realizing it inga vande yada path thinking so you are not good i can't do it you doubt yourself so it's linked to self belief 
so self esteem is important depends on a loving unconditional loving environment otherwise that doesn't mean that you enable your kids and you spoil them you can they they, they know but and i used to get adi la mo fa angirukra mundi varan pod but i never laid a hand on my son i'm very proud and i the son oda he knows okay diresh not a good idea na he won't do pressure podadenga too much pressure is counterproductive they give you the marks then you are paving them for failure in the future marriages break up they do look after their kids in the right way they make poor decisions ella is not good so equip them for the for, uh, for the future over over kid fund is different so their personalities don't hold the, every kid the same they are personalities la paathu you, you judge ana if you are unable to do it yourself not if i end a strong suggestion and a life coach and the life coach one day if you can get them to coach the relationship you have with your child that's the best starting point does barani do you have any questions to ask like it was a good information that you have provided thank you very much sir and uh, me myself i am barani i am a mom of uh, two teenagers who are 16 and 13 years old boys so i just have a quick question like i always get confused because we were born and brought up in india and we got our parenting in india is completely different to how we parent our children right now so like we um, we came to australia 11 years back when my child my children were very small like 5 years and 2 years old so they were completely i could tell you that completely into an australian uh, culture so when i tend to bring our indian culture to them or try to impose some of the festivals or you know our parenting styles this it's completely different you don't try to get them like they get confused whether to respect that or to follow that so i see i, I hope see you got my point. point no no i got your point i think what's happening is that you are sitting on the fence so in a way you are being slaved your children because you feel obliged and pressured to cave into them and allow them to do what they want but at the other side you're pulled by your own conviction about having to be uh, loyal to your values it's all values and your parents as well from the other side from india no you see it 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 irrespective of where you are at whichever country you are living in or whichever country you're born in you can still maintain strong values i give you some examples putting up uh, you look at the greeks hmm. the greek karanla pathing like you look at the greeks they are able to maintain their their very strong culture irrespective of where they are at and they are very proud the greek children uh, prepare the uh, kids they can speak english just like aussie they can also speak greek and and i know some uh, you know uh, even uh, families indian families as well who where the children can adjust both ways so it's got nothing to do with the aussie environment it depends on what you have exposed them to in the last 10 or 12 years if you have exposed them to common cultural shows and so that their friends are also other indians and all that then they will come to a better appreciation of of the um, culture but if you have not then of course they then they are not as knowledgeable about those values but having said that now it's never too late um you know in in the future if, if depending on whom they meet their partners and all that that is usually a good starting point for them to start thinking if i if i i've got my nephew he's 27 years or 28 years old he was in the same situation he you know he, he can't speak tamil he can and now because he found a, a, a tamil girl who can speak tamil he wants to learn tamil he wants to learn how to cook uh, curries and all that see how and he's 27 so there needs to oh. be some something mm. there so but the one important point i'll tell you barani is that you should not pressure them because the more you push people the more they will resent so mm. there's ways of facilitating something without pushing so if you say you know what you know look at this that's the easy we all go with the easy thing why aren't you doing this do it we expect them to do it without even having provided the environment so you should see how you can provide the environment it's never too late but at the, in the end if it doesn't work out it doesn't matter it doesn't matter allow mm-hmm. them to be who they are and as long as they thrive is important eventually you know they will you shouldn't feel the pressure that you should they should be indians and after all they are not in australia so 
that is that that fallback option you have if it doesn't work out don't be hard on yourself you know mm-hmm. do the best you can healthy good uh, environment for them so that they are better decision makers in the end they will ultimately be who they are if they want to gravitate if the more you push them the more they're going to resent and run away mm-hmm. from indian culture and yeah, they back. they do speak our language and everything at home i try to oh, okay, get some of the things oh that's much better than they communicate you understand yeah they communicate in our own language only because i don't want oh. to create a bridge between the grandparents and them yeah that's good so you so, you have a good foundation just don't push yeah. them allow them to be who they are just introduce little things here and there so let's go to the cultural show don't tell don't give any comments you should do this you should do that don't push let them finding the, the, the less you push the more they will do it themselves trust me as human nature okay. no because now they are into the teens things are changing like i can see they okay. i can observe Allow some of the changes yeah okay most important is character and good thinking the rest will sort itself out bala ji do you have anything ninga edada kekka virumbringla illa how did ninga how did you feel about the show sure so um uh, actually so i'm a second year university student actually so i oh. go to uh, monash university as well so i'm starting to be an actuary oh so, right so you um, you you you're, you're on a building there yeah exactly right so um like uh so i actually went to a boarding school so i went to board, started there when i was 12 and my parents were here i was in india so on the mari so it's a little or a different situation but um my, i enjoyed your show and i felt uh, it was really informative and stuff but my question would be is so when i was in boarding school i went through this whole drama of you know trying to be an engineer in india studying all the exams everything but in a way my path is very structured as in you you knew what to do next but now trying to be an actuary like no one is in my family has ever been an actuary or even been in commerce before but for me there's so many things you know that you can think about like so many paths you can take but there's how do you, how do you refine that you know that path you want to trot ahead in and how do you make decisions in key points like you know you, you might get it wrong and you know it's it's important decision when you're just you know just finishing just in uni and the mari time how do you how do you think about how is your thought process when you do something like this so dingal bhai you are talking about the career related or uh, general personal um i i the career in la but i mean uh, it is i i think it's more personal because i i, I, I actually agada pati la it's about see it's a path that i've non i not gone before no one i talked to generally has gone down before so when you're going down that sort of a route how do you think and how do you know put contingencies in place and why? how do you prepare yourself basically it it comes through experience there's no blueprint as to how to think there are certain things one day like for example like i mentioned to you if you have you the you first of all have to do some reflection if mm. I, if I, if for, for my students assignments i had them do a reflection assignment who am i but i'm sure what is my purpose and core values so whatever decision you make in your life always fall back to the essence of who you are your purpose driven score card but well, once you know and don't stray away from your values and your core mission in life your purpose in life then you know you're in the right path the rest of it comes through experience there's no better um, determinant of success than experience making the mistake mm-hmm. saying it and say okay I mean, no. Of course, to do that, surrounding yourself with the right friends, the connections, the people who can uplift you, it's very important. Recognizing who are the negative forces, downplay them, avoid them, and focus on positive. So your 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 network. That's where that's very important. I mean, actuarial science is amazing. I considered ac- actuarial science, and then when I realized, I got in and I started the. At that time, they they had all these different units. You can't get eight nine years. It was too long, so I stopped. but then i started doing a phd to give a longer <laughs> in fact are you in the second year i uh, just starting my second year so i'll be starting my second year one in of february my, uh, one of my uh, friends uh, sons his name is harry he um, he's a second year a uh, second or third year actuarial student maybe third year so you, you don't third know year, harry okay so uh, i i don't recollect the okay, name maybe okay. um, maybe yeah yeah, yeah that's okay yeah. but so your yeah, actuarial science uh, is something that you are intense analytical rigor so you you should make make sure that you're not too analytical about your you just allow yourself to make mistakes have self compassion like that's exactly. said your, your best companion is yourself it's fine i made a mistake so what big deal i won't do it again if i do it again okay what will i learn from it as long as you don't beat yourself up on that you will enjoy yeah. life a lot more 
I don't know, so the my, I think my biggest issue would be is I am too analytical in every right. aspect of it. So like I will not take decisions without analyzing. It might be the smallest of things. So you know, it's it's sometimes it slows you down, and sometimes it slows you down. It, if, if, if you see some things, you can analyze. If you go to the battlefront and you're fighting a war, when you start analyzing A to Z, you'll be dead. Someone will shoot you. So your gut feels such a down. Sometimes also take. Where it needs analysis, yes, but in life sometimes you don't need too much analysis. Nine point nine times what you are anxious about does not happen. Hmm. If it happens and you're anxious about, it, if you can do something about it, do something about it. If you cannot, accept it, embrace it, move on. That's the yeah. golden lesson in life. Hmm. Thank. So, uh, hope that thank helps you so much. Thank you. You. Yeah, definitely, Great. definitely. Thank you Good so luck. much. Thank you. And uh, Priyander, in the show, how are you doing? And uh, how are you doing? Do you have any questions or anything? Hi everyone. Hi Dr. Karuna. Uh, Hi. The, show is very, the show is very informative and helpful. Not you. just for me, but also friends who might be watching this. And I have a question for you. So, how do you think resilience can motivate and inspire people to work harder and succeed in different phases of their life? ஸோ இப்போ பாரு இங்கே இப்போ பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஃபோர் கிரி ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் டேக்கிங் கிரிட்டிசிசம் கிரிட்டிசிசம் கூட ஒரு இட்ஸ் அ வே ஆஃப் பீங் ரிசல்வியட் அண்ட் எவ்ரி வே யூ கோ த வில் பி பீப்புள் ஹூ வில் கிரிட்டிசைஸ் யூ கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்டிவ்லி ஆர் நெகட் இன் நெகட்டிவ் வேஸ் டூ இப்போ ஐ பர்ஸ்னலி ஐ கேன் டேக் திங்ஸ் டு ஹார்ட் இஃப் சம் பீப்புள் இஃப் தே சே சம்திங் நெகட்டிவ் அபவுட் யூ ஐ கேன் பர்ஸ்னலி டேக் இட் டு ஹார்ட் அண்ட் அதுவே ஃபேமிலி சொன்னாங்கன்னா ஒரு கார்ல விட்டு இன்னொரு கார்ல போயிடும் சோ ஹவு டூ திங்க் ஹவு டூ திங்க் யூ நோ டேக்கிங் கிரிட்டிசிசம் கேன் அண்ட் ஃபர்கெட்டிங் அபவுட் ஸோ ஒரு கிரிட்டிசிசம் எடுத்துட்டு எடுத்துட்டோனாலே இட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் கேன் பி ஹெல்ப்ஃபுல் ஃபார் அஸ் பிகாஸ் இட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் கோன் மேக் அஸ் அ பெட்டர் பர்சன் பட் எவ்ரி வை கோ தல் ஆல்சோ பி பீப்புள் ஹூ டோன்ட் நோ ஹவு டூ கிரிட்டிசைஸ் பீப்புள் இன் அ பாசிட்டிவ் வே அண்ட் ஹெல்ப் தெம் how do you think um you can embrace that yes and you know work hard and so that you can yes. inspire you to right to right. Not I say how people say that's a very good question you are thinking uh, very wisely how old are you i'm 15 16 this 15 year. very good very 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 wise and deep this is a very good question because we need see uh, that there's something that i told you this intrinsic motivation is killer when when you start focusing on your intrinsic motivation you start bothering less about other people but in the culture our indian telugu or tamil culture uh, you know more so south indian culture we care so much about what other people say about us that is the upbringing it's not dna to a certain extent other communities as well we care about our reputation but that should not rule you see the thing is that when people as i gave and gave an example when people judge you they judge you based on their experience their upbringing their mind their brain they don't understand what you are in even giving you advice about relationships they will give you standard right yeah he's a jerk why don't you just leave him and go or something or why don't you just leave her and go or break up or leave that job you know stuff actual science is too boring even accountants find actual science boring you know so something that like, they don't understand but then biology will say how do you know what are the, that's what i say cognitive behavioral therapy and thinking probe the assumptions the biology will ask someone why do you say actuarial science is boring what are your assumptions then the person will be scratching their head uh, it's boring because you're dealing with numbers then biology will ask why is working with numbers boring when you start doing the why and you probe the assumption you realize they don't know some people just say things because they want to make noise so don't take it to heart number one number two that that ability to take in through one year before you let it out the process it see if it makes sense so that's why i'm saying if you have the ability to think properly you will know whether what even your parents are saying is correct or not or they're saying it out because of their own insecurities many people say things out of insecurities negative things they don't mean it there's something called qt qtip quit taking it personally Many times we take it personally that's why we feel bad and it affects our self esteem. I used to be like that as well. Trust me, it took me a long time. But now I say okay, why is that person saying that? They don't mean it. They're not being personal. It's because they are insecure. 
so they are judging me based on what they would do but they are not me these are this is why i'm told balaji that's why your purpose your values who you are and if you're strong about that your self belief and self esteem is rigid and then nobody can shake if at all someone says something you will not be hurt because you will realize that that is aha that something constructing that i will take this and this and this improve myself and i let the rest go that will come with time but if you have that blueprint that's what i said you need to focus on who you are if you don't focus on who you are if you are in shaky ground you know like i say even if uh, to use a business analogy a company any organization is if they only change their strategy they will keep on changing in today's environment you'll change your strategy all the time so one day barani will will say that you no know, my children will need to speak telugu or marry a telugu girl the next day she will say oh no as a telugu girl women are not very nice they will better marry an aussie you know they look after us keep on changing but if you go back to the essence of who you are your purpose what defines you that usually does not change priyanda doesn't change much a priyanda strategy might change okay even me i used to love waking up uh, late now i hate waking up late same person two different mindsets so what what stays the same who i am my purpose my values stays the same my way of looking at things my strategy changes reframing is very important so the meaning the one thing i will leave you with is the meaning you attach to relationship the meaning you attach to what you do is so important when someone says negative something negative and he hurts you you need to get out of yourself have your relationship oh i'm hurt by that stop and think this mindfulness why was i heard about that what is it that hurt me ah is that what hurt me okay do i need to be heard about it is it true no it's not true bang i let it go that's mindfulness so that reframing of the meaning relabeling is saying oh they said something i reframe it and say oh i thought it was bad but it's not bad anymore because negative emotions negative thinking negative people may lead to negative thinking negative emotions negative emotions causes stress so resilience is about how you dampen the negative thinking and create the positive thinking that doesn't mean i always go with and be nice and pretend that no you need to be able to cope with adversity but you change the meaning associated with adversity covid bingo so what can i do something about it no so why cry why get mentally upset embrace it see if i can find any opportunity oh yeah in, in times gone during the most difficult times people have been the most innovative the best so now zoom has been the, the biggest the zoom founder became a rich overnight thank you so much sir ninga vande inga ellarkume vande nariya knowledge in the or one hour la ninga nariya knowledge engalukku impart pannirkeenga i think ipo idellame naanga practice la podnu adhu da irukkaliye periya engalukku or challenge and ரொம்ப தேங்க்ஸ் வந்ததுக்கு அண்ட் ரொம்ப தேங்க்ஸ் பிரியாண்டர் தேங்க்ஸ் பரணி தேங்க்ஸ் பாலாஜி அண்ட் தேங்க்ஸ் சாரா ஃபார் கமிங் थैंक यू सर फॉर शेयरिंग द वैल्यूएबल इंफॉर्मेशन यप थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट थिंग इज पुट इट इन एक्शन विजेस ऑन द मैरी पुट इट इन एक्शन एंड होल्ड योरसेल्फ अकाउंटेबल और हैव समबडी एल्स अकाउंटेबल एंड रिफ्लेक्ट थिंक अबाउट डीप थिंकिंग கண்டிப்பா கண்டிப்பா थैंक यू सर गुड लक एवरीवन Thank you for inviting me again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. நீங்க இந்த புரோகிராம் பார்த்து என்ஜாய் பண்ணிருப்பீங்கங்கற நம்பரே உங்களை இன்னொரு எபிசோட்ல சந்திக்கிறேன். அதுவரைக்கும் சைனிங் ஆஃப் லவ் விஜே.